All right, welcome to another Asian happy hour. Today we're at uh, Soul Knife for a happy hour. I'm with three beautiful ladies. You guys want to introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Witty. Hi, I'm Helen, aka Hey Helen Lee. Hi, La. Yeah, so um, come follow us to some happy hour here at Soul Knife in Koreatown, LA. So they brought us the first thing to try out, which is this salmon salad and some garlic fries. Dang. Oh, we got that so nice. Oh, we got that so nice soju. I've actually had this before. Oh. It's really good. Yeah, got the setup right here. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Oh, whoa. See, I love this right here. Thank you. Oh. Wow. That's huge. That's like, can you explain this one? That's, uh, that's a soup, but with a tomahawk. We made a tomahawk. Tomahawk. Wow, so it's like a tomahawk uh, katsu. Sheesh. Thank you. Wow. What is this one right here? Uh, Kalbi chip. Oh, this is a kalbi chip. Wow. With the cheese on it too. And we found the burner. <laughs> it's ready to go. Thank you. Oh, with the flamethrower? Oh, okay. Wow, which one is this? This is a seafood tomato soup. Seafood Ooh. tomato soup, okay. Wow. Thank you. Look at all these food here. We got the kaibichin burning up right here. Wow, we got that. Tomahawk katsu, which I've never seen before. I can't wait to try it. And then salad and the garlic fries. And the soji right here. Oh man, can't wait to try it. So Kyla, you're gonna try this kaibi chin with the cheese on it? Yeah. Give it. Pick a good piece out there. Uh, with that sauce and the marinade. Oh get man, with oh, the yeah. cheese right there. Yeah, get that. That's that. The, ooh. Oh, nicely, perfect. Got that rice good. cake. Okay. No, rub it up. No. That's that rice cake. Mmm. Mm. That's good, huh? Perfect bite. Yeah. The sauce is pretty good too, huh? Really good. Man. Mmm. Ooh. And then we'll wait for a little bit to let this both bubble up a little bit and we'll try another bite of that. So this kalbi chim that you see here, um, it's a rendition of a Korean traditional dish, you know. Uh, I think I really popular popularized uh, with the cheese. They do the whole blowtorch thing make it very cheesy and like you know cheese pull and all that good stuff and actually the cheese kind of uh, cuts out that spiciness you know? this uh, on its own is very spicy too but um, with the cheese and everything on there um, it makes it a little bit more enjoyable too but I'm gonna take another piece of this uh, the rice cake thing here I'm gonna give it a bite They marinate that really well. Yeah. You know, it has that savoriness, that kick. It has that meat flavor too, because it's been stewed in it. Wow, very good. All right, Kyla, can you do the honors of cutting a piece for us? Dang. That's Sick. a big chunk of pork That's right a there. monster pork. Get a little bite-sized piece. Wow. Let's see the middle real quick. Can you see the middle of it? Oh, man. Okay, so yeah, they got that, that pork thing, and if you can, so there's pineapple on here. Whoa. I love that. You know, um, I love katsu. I've never seen katsu, you know, made this way with the whole tomahawk style. So I'm gonna give that a try. And oh, we got another dish coming here. Wow, that's a seafood pasta. Yes, we're awesome. awesome. Pasta. Um, yeah, I think so. Maybe you can scoot, scoot some of the stuff down. Wow. Seafood pasta looks amazing too. Can't wait to try that. Okay, so Kyla did a great job of cutting these pork cutlets up. And I'm going to take a gigantic bite of this right here. Wow. Let me see that. Mmm. No. <laughs> I gotta go find no. a smaller piece. That is delicious. Oh my god. 
That's good, huh? Mm. I like that wow. sweet marinade. It's not like to at all, it's the only thing. Right, and then I'm gonna take a bite of the salad to cut off the fat. Mm. That salad is kind of like light citrusy. I love this salad. Uh huh. It's like whole flop, but yeah. it's its yeah. own version. You definitely gotta have this when you're eating katsu. Oh man, it's so good. I'm gonna take another bite of this. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. All right, next up, Kyla's gonna try this seafood pasta. Seems like it has some uni in it as well, too. Some mussels, it has some crab. Uni. Take a bite of that. Mm, really hot. It's really hot. So good. Yeah. I'm gonna eat this all myself. Oh, is it that good? Mm. Oh man, I gotta take a bite of this. Really, really good. Dang, so it has like mussels in here. It's like, like bursting with seafood. It has shrimp too, it has like calamari, it has all kinds of good I think it also has some uni and like. Probably on top, yeah. Yeah, it's a mentaco egg. It's so good. It's my oh. favorite here. And oh, really? Because, I mean, this is good. I haven't tried this yet. Yeah, but. we gotta try the seafood yeah. thing. Afterwards, but oh man, I, I want to take a bite of that. So I'm gonna try a bite of this uh, seafood pasta thing. Here we go. Mmm, you're yeah. right. That is so good. Wow. Is that like an Alfredo sauce? Would you say or like a creme sauce? It's cream a cream sauce? sauce for sure. It's a cream sauce, yeah. but if you guys know Korean like uh, seafood stew. It has that Korean seafood stew uh, taste with it because it has the crab, mussels, uh, calamari, shrimp, and all that good stuff too. So it really tastes very Korean, right? The pasta itself, uh, it looks very like Italian style, but this, this is really good. You're right. Hi. Hey, you guys made it finally. Yes, the traffic was really bad. Oh my God, LA traffic. Welcome to LA, by the way. Yeah, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> the LA traffic can be brutal, right? It was so bad, so well, bad, so bad. Well, I swear, we're catching every red light too. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, it is rush hour and like LA is pretty brutal, but you guys made it. Yay! Are you guys excited about all this food too? Oh yeah, yes. I'm so pumped. Oh, real quick, do you want to kind of introduce yourself to everyone? Yeah, do you want to go first? Sure, my name is Winnie and I'm from Toronto. Hey, what's my, up? <laughs> my name is Helen, aka Hey Helen Lee from Toronto as well. Yeah, yep. and uh, we all, we kind of met on um, Instagram and TikTok and um, you know, I just wanted you guys to come and try some Korean bar food. Have you guys uh, been to a lot of K-Town bar food areas in K-Town yet? Yes, and I'm very confident enough to say that Korean food is better here than Toronto. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thomas very was confident. telling me that, you know, Chinese food is better Chinese in Toronto. Chinese food is better. Okay, yeah. we have to kind of see about that, but um, you know, we have this Soul Soul Night Soju. It's like I don't know if you guys ever tried this before. Never. Um, it's kind of like a crafted soju. Do you want to kind of crack it open and take a shot at this and see how it goes? Absolutely. All right. So yeah, just twist. Just stick yeah. Around. It was chilling in the ice bucket for a minute. Nice and cold. Nice and cold. Perfect um, for this hot day. Winnie, mm -hmm. have a guy with drip glass you. for yourself Thank too. You. I'll get for me. And I'll take a shot from you now. Thank you. Whoa. Whoa. All right, thank hey. you. Well, Winnie and Helen, cheers. Welcome hey. to LA. Thank you. Let me see how that is. Ooh. Ooh. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, that was very smooth. Right? Yeah, it did burn it out. Wow. It's kind of fruity too, right? It was a little fruity, but it's, it's like refreshing. Oh man, what does it say? It's 23% it's alcohol. It's not this, it's not the lightest soju. It's not the lightest soju. Oh man. So I thought it would be like 13%, like those right. Damn, okay, I feel it. You feel, Damn. You feel, you feel it going down. Yeah, right? I feel it, I feel it. Damn. It's going down slowly. Alright, we're gonna have more shots of that tonight. Oh, you're so sweet, Helen. Thanks for getting us all pouring it. Alright, so should we give it a try with this thing here? Do I wanna take a bite? Yeah. Alright, Winnie's ready as heck. I'm so ready. She ready, yeah. Take a bite of that and let us know, let the audience know like what do you guys think about this kaibichi? Oh, no, don't do it. No, slurp it. Who cares? Get in on it. Yeah. It's supposed to be good with soju too, so. Wow. You like it? Oh, teba. Teba, yeah? Teba. Oh, she said teba. She knows teba. <laughs> I mean, 
It's actually really good. Yeah, right? It's actually really good. Yeah, it is really it's good. It's not just for the video. It's no, no, no. actually really good. Yeah. The food is actually really good. Try the, try the meat too, the meat piece, the kaibi. Yeah, it should be very tender as well. It's just tender, right? It's very, yeah, it's very easy to pull off from the bone. Right? Yeah. There you go. Wow. It's wow. that meat flavor, right? Yeah. Mm. That's good, huh? What do you think, Winnie? How's that? That's amazing, you honestly. Like it? Yeah. yeah, I'm so mind blown, not gonna lie. What? Yeah. For real? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, oh I'm, I'm telling you, we actually don't have things like this in Toronto. Oh, yeah, not at all. Oh, yeah. you both do? You, well, that's right, you both are from Toronto? Yeah. Like, yeah. I thought she was from here, but no, no, no. You guys <laughs> yeah. both visiting from Toronto. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you guys are lacking Korean food in Toronto. Yeah, for real. Damn. Damn. Population there? No. there is some, right? There is some, but it's not as big as here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's like a mini strip, but that's about it. Uh, and then there's like little places here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, what nas ethnicity are you? I'm Chinese. You're Chinese, okay. Mm -hmm. you're, yeah, Chinese. you're Chinese, okay. We have a huge Chinese population uh, in Toronto. Yeah. So yeah. The Chinese, Chinese food is on point. I gotta go to Toronto, but uh, the Korean food is a little lacking there. <laughs> okay, I got you. Well, enjoy while you're here. Thank you. Yeah, Thank yeah. So now I want you to try this tomahawk pork cutlet. Helen is getting to work right there, getting surgical with it <laughs> for some white pieces. Yeah, try that, Winnie. Try a, a piece of that. Thank you. Small piece for now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I. It, it tastes like katsu, but it's like huge. Yeah, it's huge. Cheers. Yeah. So that's the big pork cutlet. Yep. Looks good. Let's see. <laughs> How's it? That's pretty good, huh? It's mm -hmm. fruity. Yeah, because yeah, it fruity. has like a. Uh, blueberry. I never, yeah, it has blueberry on top, which I've never seen katsu done like that before. But it's meaty. It's not, it's like, it's not dry either. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's like, yeah. This stuff right here, I mean, every Korean loves. Of course, it's a Japanese dish, but Koreans love from Yeah, yeah. And it has like a little bone thing, so it's... It yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Special. They're kind of... It's like a pork um, tomahawk. Yeah, so yeah. Pretty interesting. Exactly. Yeah. So, Carla, you're gonna try that soup out. You said you really like that soup, huh? Really hot, it's really savory, and it's sweet, which uh -huh. is not usually how Galvigan is. Uh -huh, but uh -huh. I like it. Yeah. And I like that it's super hot got the flame going. Right. I mean, Korean people fight hot weather with hot food. Yeah, it's yeah. strange. I'm wondering if that's actually true or if that's in the head. Am I the only one sweating <laughs> right now? I have three beautiful ladies joining me today. Man. You're not the only one sweating. Oh, shit. Sure. <laughs> Dang, Helen's not getting up on this. Nope. I'm making sure everyone gets even portions. Dang, that's the Asian in her. Thank you so much. All right, so. Oh, should we try this? No, go ahead. Yeah, try it. Try that. Oh, very seafoody, very fresh. I love the tomatoes. Yeah. I love the tomatoes. I'm a huge tomato person. So. And then, what's some of the stuff that's in there? Mm. Like, what meat food fish stuff is in there? We have shrimp. We have shrimp, okay. Shrimp. Some mussels in here, too. Oh, some nice. clams. Oh, yeah. Nice. And is that a big ass piece of fish right here? I'm just. Oh, that is. Oh, oh. oh. Just a big Oh, so you guys, you guys have to try some of this too. Amazing. I'm gonna cut it up for you guys as well. Oh, wow. Big in, guys. Nice cutting scene. Yes. <laughs> now I'm gonna try the seafood thing here too. We got the fish. Mm. All these octopus and squid stuff that I really love too. I mean, I just have to say, it's. I don't know, maybe it's catered towards like non Koreans too, but you know, Koreans could mess with this. It has a, you know, that. The aftertaste of like a Korean food, but when you initially eat it, it just you know it tastes and looks like American or some type of fusion food. So, and again, as I said before, it goes really well with soju. Um, as the video goes along, you guys gonna see my face getting redder and redder. So I'm gonna try to you know um, keep it chill with the soju a little bit, um, so we can keep continuing with this video. What's that? Oh, so this is the this is the salmon, salmon. salad. Yes, yeah, so it's very summery. I think it's a good. Mixture of it. Actually, you know, here. Here's, here's another plate. Oh, it's okay. You got it? Okay. Yeah. Get the actual salmon as well. Yes. Wow. Sauce in there. You want to try a bite of that? Yeah. It's fresh, right? 
Yeah, is it very it's summery very and stuff like that? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty good too. So, I, I know this is your last night, right? Um, how did you feel about, you know, visiting LA? Wait, first off, was this your first time in LA or? It is my first time, Are yeah. you serious? And so what was your first take on LA? There's a the, the homeless community is definitely a lot more than what we have here in Toronto. Right. And the it's a lot hotter. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's because we came at a bad time. You guys came at the biggest like heat wave. You yeah, know. it's very very hot. Right. Um, the traffic is 100 very very bad. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we're late. Yeah. What else? Um, was the homeless situation shocking? Yes, it was quite shocking. Yeah. Um, because mostly, like for us, uh -huh. we see more of the homeless population downtown. Right. But it feels like out in LA, they're just like it's um, they're kind of everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah it and doesn't matter if it's like good areas or like bad areas. Yes, and they're more aggressive than what we have here in Toronto. Uh, really. Yeah, very aggressive. They're a little bit like how do I put this in a nice way? Like zombies. Oh yeah. yeah. It's the drugs. Um, I, yeah. Yeah, and what else? Do you guys have less of a drug problem? No, I think we still have like drug problems, but I feel like in Los Angeles we have even more. Right. You guys have yeah. more of that. Uh -huh. um, we also have free healthcare. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but that's the good thing about Canada. Because yeah. all of the people who need mental health on the street. Yeah. Yes, yes. I just felt like if you guys have free healthcare, yeah. it would be a lot better for it, especially the homeless. You know what? Situation. That might be a that's a very good idea. I didn't even think of it that way. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. yeah. So they can get the cure the the care that yes, they need. Exactly, because you know? yeah. everyone 25 and under gets no. like free free medication, yeah. um, antibiotics, antidepressants, wow. and all that. And I have it's over 25. Oh, you um, have to pay, but not too much. Like if you call an ambulance here, I heard it's like five thousand dollars. But minimum. in Toronto, minimum. Yeah. But here it's it's like forty five dollars. Forty five dollars. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You should have got her reaction. <laughs> so, Heather, I guess we're going to uh, Canada, huh? Soon. <laughs> How about what some like positive things about LA? Like, oh my God! Yeah. Oh my God! <laughs> Let's, let's leave on a good note. Um, I love the, how big the Asian community here is. Like oh, specifically yeah. like the Japanese and Korean community. Uh -huh. um, back home, our Korean community is like one street and that's uh -huh. about it. Like that's all you get. Here you see like blocks and blocks of culture and right. people. I love seeing it. Yeah. And also I kind of like it when everyone dresses up. Like no one's afraid to dress uh -huh. up. Yeah, and the scenery. I thought the, opposite. Oh. I thought the opposite. I thought LA people do not know how to dress. Really? Yeah, you know, we just dress like we're going no. to the gym or back from the gym. Oh I mean, God. in Toronto, it's uh -huh. more business casual. I uh -huh. feel like here, it's more pop of color. Oh, yeah, I got gotcha. Definitely, we got here and we, were, we left Asia and we are like, wow, everyone here is so beautiful. It's, uh, everyone's so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, guys, girls, young, old, everyone. Yeah, yeah. honestly, I feel so inspired to like, like, I don't know, look more, more presentable when oh, I go okay. back home. Okay, okay. That's <laughs> and cool. of course, the scenery is really pretty as well. And oh, yeah. the beaches, the piers, amazing. Right. I love them uh -huh. so much. We don't have that in Toronto. So on the last thing though, you guys would definitely come back. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. now that we're all friends and stuff, I mean, please come visit us. Hopefully, I can go visit you guys in Toronto yeah. too. Yeah, we love that. Honestly, yeah. come yeah. find and, us. Yeah, and until next time, guys, stay blessed. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.